Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kyla. I hope you are all fine and well. Uh, today, I decided to make a video which can honestly be very helpful if I may be able to do this properly <laughs> on this um, very popular skincare product which you already know because of the title and the thumbnail of this video but here it is yes it is the saint ives fresh skin apricot scrub i'm going to be giving you my honest opinions about this product when i started using it and then we're also going to talk about the pros and cons of this product so here's what the product looks like very nice and very Fragrant. I remember receiving this package and then the whole box just smelled like this product like Even before I open it. It smells like this product. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating I even tried leaving this for my closet for a week and then I promise you my closet smelled so good at that point It smells so good. So I got this product because it became really popular <laughs> and if you know me well enough I'm a bitch I just, I just gotta get what's popular Okay, so I got this and I really wanna test it out how it will work on my skin which is oily to combination skin I think because I do have some uh, dry areas on my face because I have eczema mm -hmm. So there's that and in my case, scrubs in general really do make my skin feel a lot better, like it's a lot smoother and it feels a lot cleaner, like it feels less greasy whenever I exfoliate using scrubs. I also don't really deal with much acne on my face. My main skin problems are sebum, blackheads, and whiteheads. A whitehead is a type of acne that forms when dead skin cells, oil, and bacteria become trapped within one of your pores. But I didn't know that at that time, so back to the program. So let's talk about this product. Also, ignore how dirty my laptop is. This is what it says on their website Say hello to glowing skin. You can't beat the deep exfoliation of St. Ives Apricot face scrub for clean, smooth, illuminated skin. 100% natural exfoliants like walnut shell powder and apricot fruit extract leave the skin feeling super soft and smooth, but is apricot scrub good for the skin? It literally says that there. Then as we read on, it says that the following are the benefits of apricot on skin, which are wrinkle reduction, moisturization, and better skin tone. And plus, they say it's 100% natural, again. Then here at the bottom, it says, we recommend using St. Ives apricot face scrub or any St. Ives scrubs for that matter, three to four times a week. Also, can I just say their website looks really nice. I love how it's all very neat and clean. I would kill for my skin to be as clean as St. Ives website. Okay, so uh, let me tell you about my experiences with this uh, scrub in particular. When I first started using this, not gonna lie, it makes my skin felt instantly a lot softer and a lot more smoother. I know it's going to be a hard scrub since it literally says deep exfoliation factor on the back but I didn't really expect the beads to be that hard so when I was applying it I tried to apply it with a much lighter pressure than I usually do with scrubs. I think it's a really good scrub for removing dead skins on your face and also for unclicking pores, but however, this product is suggested to be used three to four times a week and uh, I, feel, I just feel like if I use it in that pattern, it just really makes my skin a lot uh, dry, even though I have really oily skin. I don't know what it is, but it leaves my skin so dry and uh, I've also experienced um, micro peeling is that what you call that on my skin when I use this um, for straight um, two weeks three to four times per week and th that's what happened to my face and it doesn't feel good at all 
Whenever I use this moisturizer, my face feels a lot drier and look a lot drier so I had to apply extra amount of moisturizer in order to fix it because it does not feel good at all. So I think this product isn't as moisturizing as what it claims to be. Also, a quick spicy trivia here. St. Ives actually faced a lawsuit regarding their scrubs, including two different reasons. First, the crush rollant powder creates microscopic tears on your skin, which uh, exposes your skin to irritation and infection. And that its claim to be non-comedogenic was not true. In response to this lawsuit, Unilever filed a motion to dismiss the case because there was actually no proof that uh, the apricot scrub was dangerous or defective. Okay, so I just realized that this controversy dates up to 2017, but... I'm just gonna pretend I don't know that. And now for the part where I tell you my final thoughts about this product. First of all, I discontinued using this product. For the sake of not drying my skin, I stopped using this. And also because I feel like this product makes my skin a lot thinner than it already is. But I guess if you don't have really sensitive skin, I think uh, this scrubs might work for you. If you ever do decide to use this, I would suggest only using it once a week because you'll never know. You have to be careful before your face gets even so 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 dry. This product do retail uh, a little bit costly so I don't really want to waste it. So instead what I do is I use it as a body scrub. So in the shower I use this on my arms and on my legs and sometimes even on my foot. Uh, it's not bad actually I've been using it like that for three weeks now and so far so good. Uh, plus, it leaves me smelling really amazing, and especially at night when I was about to sleep and I really enjoyed the apricot scent. Where is that apricot? I don't know, but it smells really good. It has a pretty long shelf life too. It's manufactured 2019 and it expires 2022. Once I'm done with this bottle, I probably won't repurchase it anymore because this scent isn't enough for me to buy another one. Anyway, that's all what I have to say with this product. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. And if you do like my content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you do like it. And also feel free to leave a comment down below on what products you want me to review next. I know it's not really my thing, but if you want to, I will. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on my next vlog. Bye. Oh my god, there's the chicken again.